going on YouTube? So today we're going to be checking out Real Link's E1 3 megapixel pan and tilt indoor camera. So this is their E1 3 megapixel camera. They do have a 5 megapixel camera for a little bit more. I think it's 20 bucks more. This product is $35. I'll link the product in the description so you can check it out yourself. Um, but this is their uh, indoor 1080p pan and tilt camera. So let's go ahead and check out the size of the box. So on the side here, it does say that it comes with a two year limited warranty. So that way, if there's anything that goes wrong with it, they will be able to cover it. On the back side, it is their E1 model, 3.3 megapixel Super HD camera, pan and tilt, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. It does not work on the five gigahertz network, but it does work on the 2.4. Uh, two way audio, so you can talk to somebody through the device on your phone. It also has an SD card option for saving videos and photos at real time alerts. Um, and it works with Real Link's cloud service. I'm not 100% sure if their cloud service costs money or not, um, but it does have an SD card option as well. You can uh, view and record and take pictures with their actual app itself. They have an app on the App Store for iPhone and an app on Google Play for your Android device. So let's go ahead and check and see what you get in the box. First, you get a quick start guide. This explains to you what you need to do to get it set up on your mobile app. Uh, although when you plug in the camera, it'll actually walk you or actually talk you through what you need to do. On the back side, if you can see it, I'm not sure you can see it. It has a, it actually has a template. So that way you can actually screw the mount into the wall or into a uh, solid surface. Um, that way you can actually mount the device where you want it. It does have a little rubber feet on the actual camera itself to just set it on a table if you wanted to, but uh, you can mount it on the wall or you mount it anywhere you want. It comes with two screws and two uh, wall anchors. That way if you don't screw it into uh, studs, you can actually use drywall anchors. It comes with about six foot of cable. It is usually nicely neatly wrapped in, but I did the recording of this and when I unboxed it all before, it uh, did not record my audio, so I already had set it up. But this is a six foot cable. This is a very long cable. Uh, it does not power up via micro USB like most cameras do, so that's a little bit different. But other than that, I mean, it shouldn't uh, change the performance of the actual camera itself. So let's go ahead and look at the camera. So here's the actual camera itself. It is a plastic uh, base all around and actual camera uh, mount as well. You do have the speaker and the microphone on the back. I'm assuming the microphone is here as well. I don't see another place for the microphone to be. So it's a nice big speaker, the power cable spot. And then there's that mount I was talking about here. So this would simply go in here and then you just rotate the camera and then it'll mount there. You can also, like I said, it does have rubber feet here so you can set it on the table. And then uh, that's pretty much it about the actual camera itself. It is pan and tilt. Uh, now you're asking yourself, where's the micro SD card spot? They put that sucker down here. So uh, that's nice so that someone can not grab your camera and go, hey, maybe I can steal the footage. They may not know it goes there unless they watch my video. You have the reset button here as well. So that's nice. Uh, let me go ahead and open up the app and show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the app itself. You would to add this, you would hit the plus button. Then it's gonna say, please scan the actual QR code on the bottom of the camera. So you take the phone, scan the QR code on the bottom of the camera, and then it's gonna ask you to put in your password for your Wi-Fi. Uh, the Wi-Fi that your phone is connected to, and then you'll all, it'll ask you to scan the QR code that's on the phone with the actual camera itself, and then you're good to go to set it up. So let's go ahead and connect to it. So it connected pretty quick and easy. This is the basement of my house. So you have options to talk to it, talk through it. You've got your joystick for pan and tilt. It's pretty responsive. So there we are right there, actually. And it looks like it has an auto mode, so it'll uh, actually detect motion and move with it. You have a pause button, you have a audio button, so you can listen to audio. It does, as you saw up there, it had a little runner guy in red pop up. That means there's motion detected. We can take photos. We can take video if we wanted to. We can turn, or we can alert the siren. And then we can set up things that are like motion detection, sensitivity and motion zones. That's really nice about this is you can set up motion zones. Um, you can actually set up a recording. You can turn off recording if you wanted to, push notifications, uh, siren on or off, so that's nice. 
And then that's pretty much it. You can actually set it to day or night vision. Uh, if you wanted to, if you wanted to just always night vision, you could do that. Or if you never wanted night vision to come on, you could do that as well. So let's go ahead and actually show you what it looks like when it's completely pitch black, what the quality is for night vision, and what the quality is when it's well lit. And actually the audio quality that you're gonna get from hearing somebody from the camera itself. So here is a well lit video that for the quality that you're gonna see out of the actual camera itself and audio quality that you're gonna hear from if someone was talking to the camera. So if you were talking to somebody through the camera, this is the audio you're gonna actually hear on your actual phone, actual phone or actual device that you're listening to. Um, so that way you can tell how well you can hear the person. So here is complete, it's completely pitch black in here. Um, so here is nighttime vision that you're gonna see uh, out of the actual camera for the quality. Um, audio is not gonna change from a well lit area, but this is what you're gonna see in a completely pitch black area. So this is the actual quality you're gonna get. So there you have it. Uh, you see the quality of the video. It actually is really high quality for the video. It's 1080p. Um, a lot of camera companies say 1080p and they really, I mean, they mean it, but in all reality, the 1080p uh, high definition isn't, not what I think 1080p is. Um, but for the price of this camera, I think you get a lot for uh, the features. Um, the pan and tilt for 10 bucks more than most cameras. Most of those indoor cameras that are actually pretty decent are about 20, 25 bucks. This one's 20, or 35 bucks comes with the real link app uh, and you can go in that little uh, ecosystem uh, with other cameras that real link provides they have actual outdoor cameras as well um, and I will I do have a video of that as well so I'll link that in the description as well so you can check it out or I'll put it up here is it up here or up here I don't know which one of these it'll put it up here um, so you can check it out yourself and vice versa but for 35 bucks I think this is a, it's a fantastic camera. If you need to sign a camera indoors, do check up on your pets, nanny cam, baby monitor, you name it. Just watch your house. I think this is a perfect camera. Um, you can buy more than one and set it up on the actual app and you get nice alerts, notifications, recordings, and all that. Like I said, if you want to check the product out yourself, it's 35 bucks. The link will be in the description below so you can check it out yourself. Uh, maybe the price changed, got, maybe got cheaper. Maybe they're running a deal. Check it out. If you have any questions or comments or opinions about this, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. I'm actually pretty good about replying to questions and helping people out on my videos. I'm really quick to reply. So uh, if, you have any, if you do really have any questions or comments, uh, put them down below and I'd be happy to, to help you out if, in any way. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you're not new and you're back again for another video, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. <music>